Do you love safari? I love safari. Rhinos, cheetahs, baboons, zebras. It's not the weekend. It's the witching hour on Friday night. In the comfort of a car, I can sneeze and cough and watch a group of monkeys pull their windscreen wipers off. I want to go somewhere where animal features. I want to have a peek at some outdoor creatures. Drop the needle, ice the bacardi, feel the groove. Safari. Level up like an old Atari. Game face on for the love safari. It's not a little weekend. That's the latest song by Techno Wizards, Atlas Divide, and I'm sure it's going to be a great success in the clubs of Europe over the coming months. A bona fide classic right there. And it's an honour, it's a privilege to have the band in the studio with me today. Give it up for Ashley Function, Radley Bostic, and Cynthia Callahan. Hey. How's it going, guys? That's a, that's a hot new track. Thanks a lot, Davey. It's great to be here today. You must all be delighted with this comeback. It's the comeback of epic proportions. Tell us a little bit about it. Ashley and I started the band in 92. We released one single that dropped from our label, and we both hit hard times. It was really bad. I ended up in rehab, and Radley ended up working for Amazon. Well, I guess it doesn't get worse than that. My wife left me and took the kids. I ended up doing new age music. Whoa, stop right there, Radley. This is a family show. <sighs> I'm sorry. It got really bad for me personally. I just did drugs. And Cynthia, where do you come into all of this? I saved them. I was the miracle that dropped from the heavens and put these guys back together. I gave them a life. A goal. You have a background in the music business? I've worked with Sonia. Amazing. I should be so lucky. I know talent when I see it, Davy. I know a piece of gold when I'm ciphering through the dirt. I couldn't find gold, so these guys will do for now. <laughs> Gold's not what the world wants at the moment. They want crap. And these boys supply that in spades. And the public love it. So what are your plans for the future? I believe Cynthia is now a part of the band. Is that true? It certainly is, Davey. We've gone from a duo to a, a trio. Trio, Ash. It's a trio. It gives the band a better dynamic. Opens up so many possibilities... Ashley was mostly writing about how down he was, feeling sorry for himself and how his life hadn't hit the heights he was hoping for. I can write about sparkling shoes. It's a great balance. Not that I can't write about shoes, I can. I have. Any tour plans? Funny you should ask that, Davy. We are about to embark on the most unusual tour ever. The tour to beat all tours. I'm so excited. Tell us more. The Dresden tour. I think bands have toured Dresden before. Not the city, no. The man. Richard Dresden. The man. The myth. The artist? Exactly. We want him to direct our brand new video. But first, we've got to find him. He's been a recluse for almost 20 years now. We think he's in Cornwall. So, we're going to jump in a van and tour our way down to Cornwall. Stopping all over the place to do impromptu gigs. I'm going to record every part of it, make our own little piece of art, and hopefully Richard Dresden will be impressed enough to come out of hiding and direct our video. Like when Andy Warhol made that video for the cars. Hello again? Yeah! We're going to stream our journey to the world. The fans will get a real insight into the inner workings of the band. Plus, we're going to try and find out everything we possibly can about Richard Dresden and his work. It's going to be epic. But what if you don't find him? I will find him. Believe me. We'll find him. To the C, to the Y, to the N, to the T, to the H, to the I, to the A. 
to the C, to the Y, to the N, to the T, to the whatever, okay? Where's Cynthia? Oh, yeah. Anyone seen her? Oh, yeah. It's just my soul. It's just my simple soul. It's my soul. It's just my simple soul. I've never seen anything so horrible in my entire life. It is a bit pink, Cynthia. What were you thinking? It makes a statement. Simple as that. When we're driving through the towns and cities of the country, people will go, wow, that's Atlas Divide. I think people will go, wow, that's a pink van. And they'd be right, Medley. It's unique, just like us. Once we get on all the local TV and radio stations as we go through our journey, this pink van will become just as famous as us. I actually like it. It's certainly recognisable. I can see it becoming iconic, like the A-Team van, the Scooby-Doo mystery machine and, I don't know, Postman Pat's van. Right, enough chit-chat. Let's hit the road. It's spacious as hell. It's a real home from home. All the mod cons, Ashley, no expense spared. Which brings me to the elephant in the room here, Cynthia. How exactly are we paying for all this? Don't you worry your little self about that, Redley. Money is not a problem when pure art and creativity are involved. Oh, it's got a fridge. This is possibly the greatest van I've ever been in. We've got crisps. Fizzy pop and sweets for the journey. Guys, this is going to be so much fun. Crisps? Fizzy pop? This is a tour, Cynthia, not a day trip to Alton Towers. Not up, Red. We're going to have a ball. First stop, Leeds. Leeds? Richard Dresden is in Cornwall. M62, then M6 all the way. Leeds, Redley. That's where Richard Dresden ex-wife, Joe, lives. That's where our story will begin. This isn't just a tour, guys. This is a documentary. Exactly. I want to know everything about the man. I only know what Cynthia's told me so far. And you'll learn more, Ashley. By the time you come face to face with the great man, you'll know everything there is to know about him. I'm so excited. My laptop is just filled with interviews on Richard Dresden. It won't take long before you fully understand the legend. He is a bit cool, Ashley. Drive, Radley. No time to waste. Creating art is just like reading. You need it to survive. If it wasn't for art, I'd be dead in a ditch in Ramsbottom. Fishing was once a great love of mine. I'd spend hours on the riverbank, casting away the dark shadows of my mind into the wondrous pond of dreams. I'd drift away to better times. Times are always better in your mind. The mind always creates things that are far superior to anything real and living. The key is to never lose that childlike wonder of the world. Lose that, and you lose the ability to really dream. Wow, that's really deep. He also makes full-size sculptures of 1930s cricket players that are Hoover parts. They sell for thousands. As Ashley sat in his comfortable seat in the Atlas van, he couldn't help think that one day, maybe just one day, he could be as creative as Richard Dresden. What the hell was that? That was just weird. Oh, that's Marcus Daly, the narrator. I've hired him to fill in the gaps of our quest. That's really freaky, Cynthia. I'm not sure I like that. He knows what we're thinking. Well, that's his job. He's one of the best in the business. He did Dentist Wives of Chorley and Get Your Hands Off My Meat for Channel 5. Get Your Hands Off My Meat? 
What the hell was that? About the rivalry between two butcher families in Wolverhampton. Second series in the works. Well, that's going to take a bit of getting used to. Don't worry about it. Radley was already having second thoughts about the whole trip. Why did he agree to this ridiculous idea? Stop it! Ashley, on the other hand, was thinking maybe he should have a pee. This guy's quality! That's not a bad shout, actually. We need petrol. Let's stop, guys. Let's visit our first service station together. I'm obsessed by service stations. And I need a pee. We, we know. know. We know. I like to go to the service station. 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 No more little ships. Service stations, east and west. There's no sign of Richard Dresden. Atlas Divide on a mission. Trying to catch the invisible man. Pins in the map and a hired van. Brighton, Brighton. Can't get the petrol cap off. It's stuck, I think. There's a massive queue behind me. The cheeks are going pink. Everyone is tooting. It's what I dreaded. I only pulled up for a bit of unleaded. Bradley flies to his fingers, please. Tonight, Liverpool. Tomorrow, Leeds. Feels good to be alive. Once you're off, the M25. Can't get the petrol cap off. It's stuck, I think. There's a massive queue behind me. The cheeks are going pink. Everyone is tooting. It's what I dreaded. I only pulled up for a bit of unleaded. It's gonna be happy. Are we there yet? Hello. Did you hear the David Duke show on Radio Merlin this morning? Oh, it's been many years since I listened to commercial radio, Jack. Have you heard of the band Atlas Divide? They had a minor hit in 1992 with a single called It's Just Dancing in it. They reached number 77 on the Pepsi network, Jack. You really know your techno. I love my techno. Don't that cannot be allowed to happen. Just tell them he said no. no. I don't think you fully understand. They're driving down to Cornwall to find him. Does Dresden know of this? I really don't think Richard Dresden listens to commercial radio either. They must not be allowed to reach him. Set the wheels in motion, Jack. I want you to do everything in your power to stop the band Atlas Divide from making any form of contact with Richard Dresden. Yes, I'm fine. I walked down to the corner shop earlier this morning and bought a two-liter bottle. Only one pound. If you need anything else, let me know. If Atlas Divide get anywhere near Dresden, I will hold you fully responsible. You hear me? Hello? Hello? Damn it. He hung up. Like a bullet train. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like an aneurysm in your brain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a bullet train. Yeah, 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 yeah. 